So first we'll have a look in the metadata table. So this is going to show us all of our metadata for each message in our search criteria and each step it was at in our channel. By default the latest 20 messages by our ID are shown. So we can see all of our messages. Now by default the metadata table will only show eight columns. The ID, the connector, status, receive date, response date, errors, and also source and type. So the source is going to be for HL7, and it's going to be the MSH 4.1 field. Type is going to be the MSH 9.1 field. We can add or, or remove columns from this table. So if we go to the top right of the metadata table, we can see where we can enable and disable our columns. So you can see we have ID. So this is going to be the ID of the message. We also have the connector. So that's going to be the name of the connector. So it could either be source or destination. It could also be the destination names you have in here. So if there is multiple destinations, it would list all the destination names. We also have status. So this is going to be the current status of the message in that connector. So for example, some of the common types for source is going to be received. So this is when the message was first received. We could have filtered. So this could mean that the message was rejected by the filter. We could also have transformed, like we have here. That just means that the message passed through the transformer and was transformed. Or we could also have error. An error could be when we receive an error while processing the message. Now in the destinations, we could have received. So this is when it was just received from the source. We could have filtered, where it was rejected by the filter. We could also have sent. So this is going to be where the message was successfully sent to the destination. We could also have queued. So this is where the destination connector is attempting to send the message, but it's queuing up. We could also have aired, where it was being aired, either transforming the data, sending the data, or processing the data. And then we could also have pending. So this is going to be where it was able to write the message to the outbound, but hasn't yet received a response. So next we have the original receive date. It's going to be the original receive date of the message. I'm also going to have receive date. So this is going to be the receive date, whether we, we reprocess a message or the original receive date. We can also have the a number of attempts to send the message, either the attempts for the source connector to send to the destination or the destination connector to send to the destination. So we could also have send date, and this is going to apply only to the destination connector, and it's going to be the most recent send attempt date and time. We also have response date, so for the source connector it's going to be immediately before the connector sent the response back to the point of origin. And for the destination connector, this could be the time that the connector received and stored the response from the outbound system. So wherever we're sending the message. So we could also have errors. So this is going to be where we were processing the message and it aired. And we also have the server ID. And this is going to be the ID of the server where the message was being processed. Also, we can have the original server ID. So this is where it was originally processed. An original ID. This can be the original ID of the processed message, import ID, the imported ID of the message, import channel ID. This is going to be the original channel ID of the imported message. And then we have source and type. Source and type is going to be a metadata column. So this is going to be variables that we set in our global or channel maps. And we can view it in our data table for processing and filtering. We'll look into more of those metadata types later on. 
Now if we remove a column, this data doesn't get removed. It will appear if we enable that column again. So if we wanted to remove status, I can disable status. And you can see that we don't have the statuses anymore. But if I go in here, enable the status again, we can see it. Now if we right click on one of the columns, go down to the bottom, you can see collapse and expand. So we can collapse to just see the source metadata. So you can see how we just have each row for the source. Now we can also expand all and this is going to view all of our metadata. So it's going to be the source and each destination. So if we had two destinations here, it would list all the metadata for each destination.